How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Wild Lore Book. This is Jigsaw Owns and Sintanan, aka Hobo. Good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll, we will be exploring the Saladin farm and uncover the secrets, uh, which me and him already know, obviously, because we've been playing the game a long time. We know who's behind the murders, we know who is to blame for everything. It used to be Edwin, but now it's Vanessa, but we're going to go ahead and delve into that today. So let's get started. Let's well, get spoilers. A bunch of people dueling like idiots out here. Yeah. I got a new weapon I didn't put on. Meet you at the farm. <laughs> yep, I'll meet you there. Yeah, I'll meet you there. All right. It's too far away. Right. Okay, anyways, um Basically, we're going to the Saladin's farm today. Sorry for the wait, guys. Uh, got a, lot, a couple people whispering me. So, <laughs> anyways, we're at the Saladin's farm. I believe this is where you have to kill all of the um, the Harvest Watchers and everything. This is also where you get. There's an Easter egg here where you can actually get turned into a chicken, or you actually get the chicken by clucking at a chicken. Like so many times. You need to buy a uh, chicken feed and then pluck out the chicken, and it's like a 5% chance it'll eventually respond to you. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Greetings. Been in Westfall all my life. Brother, I can remember a day when Westfall was the luscious land this side of Stranglethorn Vale. Those days are long gone. While we no longer have the fires causing problems, the fallout from their reign of terror can still be felt. To make matters worse, we're in the worst economic downturn in history. All that gold we spent on fighting the scourge left anyone not in a military-related occupation jobless and eventually homeless. Guess where all those people ended up at? Horatio Lane? That man is a scumbag. Dirty as my underwear. Listen, friend, 
I don't often get out of give out advice like this, but you seem like a good man. Get out of Westfall. You are already in way over your head. All you're doing now is putting your neck on the chopping block. Been in Westfall all my life. Oh, I already read that. Sorry. Here we go. Times are tough, brother. With the downtrodden masses of Stormwind migrating into Westfall, resources are stretched as thin as they've ever been. The people are restless and in need of help. Our own farmhouse has been serving a halfway house for years. Salma does the best that she can do to keep our guests alive, but sometimes the watchers get them. Watchers are those twisted abominations roaming the field. A little present left behind by the defiest before they were driven off. Help us! Go with honor, friend. <laughs> Seems somebody's already killing stuff. I'm just murdering animals. We got another quest here. Do, go talk to uh, Selma to get the quest to do some cooking. Yeah, Selma Saladin. This is a cooking quest? Yep. Okra, birds, and pig. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, dear. Welcome to my home. Hmm, you don't like what you're homeless. You don't look like you're homeless. Have you come to help us? If so, you are just in time. I'm planning dinner for the young ones and need a few simple ingredients. If you could get some okra, gortus flanks, and stringy flesh ripper meat, I can make my famous Westfall stew. I can make my famous Westfall stew. You'll find all the ingredients near our farm. Just be careful of the harvest watchers. They are merciless killers. Safe travels. <laughs> Alright, so, flesh rippers. Yep, buzzard meat. Mm-mm, good. Oh, this is a one-handed? Why did I choose this weapon? <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend I understand your thought process there, boss. <laughs> I'm out of range. As I said before, guys, um, on the channel, we're not gonna be doing dungeons unless it's required for the quest. Dungeons to me aren't a big part of the lore. They are, but they're not. Like, if it's part of the quest line of the zone that we're in, then yeah, we're doing the dungeon. But if not, then we ain't touching it. I, I still got that accent going because I'm dungeons still doing are the, Dungeons are the climax <laughs> or the capstone of the quest line. So, there's no point in queuing random dungeons like the Horde, uh, the Horde dungeons and whatnot, because there's no way we can get the quest to go explore, you know, uh, what is it, Rage Fire Chasm. Yeah, that's Horde only. Yeah, the story behind it's pretty, uh, pretty simple, regardless. A, bun a bunch of uh, cultists trying to hide out. That's it. But uh, then again, what can you expect from the Horde, right? Yeah. Everyone knows I'm not a fan, so... So tell us, and where have you been? Uh, why have you been missing? Working. 
working a lot? Oh yeah, our crew's running a skeleton crew, so it kind of boils down to having to pull double duty for most of it. Not to mention we're in the busy season. I might as well tell all my viewers now of my plans of what I'm thinking of doing. So basically around here, um, it's a really fucking, it's a fucked up town here. And uh, there ain't much stuff to do here in this town where I live. And uh, I'm running out of options. So I'm thinking about joining the service. Um, the reason I chose this is because I just, <coughs> I earned my degree and everything and I, I haven't gotten anything. I haven't gotten nothing, like, to show for it, so. I haven't gotten a call, nothing. I've applied to, like, 35, 40 places and not a single call, so. If anyone here watching has anything to say about um, the service or whatever join the service maybe could help me on deciding if I should or not um, then please uh, leave a comment below or comment on my twitch and I'll, I'll see it You have found what appears to be the heart of a Harvest Watcher. From the sound being emitted by the device, you can tell that it's still fully functional. Perhaps you should return it to Farmer Saladin. Kind of like, um, I like the, the non-auto loot for this, uh, this show because, well, the way that I'm leveling in this show, um, because, like, auto loot just takes up too much room, and I feel like auto loot is for the fast play, fast paced players and everything, and trying to level, like, as quick as possible, so, like, being able to just click on the quest items of what I need feels more comfortable to me. Yeah, it's always nice because a lot of quest items usually have flavor text that you miss with auto loot these days since quest items don't go into your inventory. <coughs> you make it look easy with the warlock. <laughs> it's low level, it is easy. Ever since Cataclysm rebalanced everything. Low level characters are just cakewalk. Mm -hmm. Doubly so if you have any sort of ranged attack like a caster. <clears throat> I've been sick today. I haven't... I, I got out of bed. I think like at 8 o'clock at night. I didn't sleep at all last night. Stayed up until like noon today, 1 o'clock. Finally went to bed. It's a horrible, horrible day. Horrible stress going on in my life right now. So. I'll take a deep breath. I have faith you'll make it through it, boss. You always do. Yeah. My friend of, uh, my friend of close to 20 years, uh, he basically manipulated my ex-girlfriend to send him nude pictures, so I'm not very happy about that. And I have I have the voice evidence to prove that that's the truth. So <laughs> that sounds like a pretty fucked up situation. Yeah. But enough about that. Let's continue this.
<laughs> all right. Been in Westfall all my life. I already read this. Why do they do this? Okay. That's his introduction text. Thank you, brother. You done Salma and I a great service, and I promise that it won't soon be forgotten. I don't have much money, but you're welcome to to what I do have. <clears throat> what have you got there? Is that is that the heart of one of those watchers? I've heard stories about using one of those one of these to power up a watcher for personal use. Of course, I'm really in shape to try such things myself. I'm in no shape to try such things. From what I've heard, all you really need to do is find a suitable harvest golem and drop it in the heart. Once you've done that, you should be able to take full control of the creature. I think there's a whole field of overloaded harvest golems west over here. West, west of here, west of here, at the Molson farm. Look for the arcs of electricity. Should you manage to get it working, use the golem to destroy the energized harvest reapers at the old Molson farm. Those monsters are much more destructive than the ones on our farm. Well met. Food will be ready. As soon as I have all the ingredients, hurry! Bless your heart, dear. These poor orphans haven't had a hot meal in days. It looks like we will have enough left over to help feed many more of the homeless of Westfall. See you around. <laughs> and our quest here. It's been many years since anyone has offered to lend us aid. Had you not come along, we might not have made it through the coming winter. You have proven yourself to be a selfless individual, a person that we can trust. I only wish we had something of value, of value to offer you. While I have no information to assist you in your crusade to bring the Furball's murder to justice, perhaps my wife can help. Speak to Salma inside and she will tell you what you need to know before you leave here. For the alliance. <laughs> Can I help you? Of course, dear. Our little girl works at Sentinel Hill and is very close with the homeless of Westfall. Perhaps she has overheard something. Before you go, let me wrap up the Westfall stew and tell you a little bit about our dear little girl. About four years ago, in the dead of night, a little girl walked right into our farmhouse, collapsed on the floor. Nobody had a clue as to her identity. The poor little thing had no recollection of who she was or where she came from. Truly a lost soul. <coughs> Soon after, we adopted the little girl and named her Hope, for that is what she represented. She is now a young lady caring for the destitute and homeless of Westfall. Take my Westfall stew to her at Sentinel Hill, south of here. Be careful. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go into this stuff? Why not? It's not like it doesn't die quick. You got drained, soul. Mm-hmm. Affliction. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go do this one first. I don't know why we just did that. Because they were in my way. The leveling's a lot better with this, uh, with this, uh, scaling. 
Yeah, leveling is a bit better with the scaling. Because you're, because you're because you're killing you something kill that's something. hard not not hard to kill, but it, like it's difficult. It's trivial. It's not trivial to kill something when you have scaling. Mm-hmm. Too bad the quest items don't quite scale perfectly yet. Did you get a harvest golem? Yeah, that one counted for me. Also use this thing to get back to the farm. It actually worked. That's incredible. Hopefully they take care of the harvest golem proper problem here in Westfall. Oh boy, I just got a new piece of uh, all the things armor. I heard like a little music playing. This is a great add-on guys. If you don't have this, I suggest you get it. If, especially if you're a collector. I seen- Do you wanna get your chicken real fast? Uh, sure. I seen I seen uh, Asmongold use uh, this add-on. I was hooked on it instantly. I was like, "Wow, that's a really cool add-on." Add Might as well show the folks how to get this Easter egg. So you yeah. talk to Saldian here, and you buy. You're gonna need one of the special chicken feed. And then once you have that, just target one of the chickens nearby, and slash chicken at them. And you gotta do it again and again and again until it gets a quest over its head. I suggest you guys make a macro for this. I'm gonna make a macro. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, you gotta do it like some 50 times. <laughs>
There it is. The chicken looks up to you and then starts to scratch its claws into the ground. You, what did it say? You gotta be quick on it. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, look at that. That was quick. The chicken looks up to you and starts to scratch its claws into the ground. You think it's spelling out a word, but you are not sure what it is. Could it be Saldine? Before you can ask, the chicken turns away and goes about its business. Okay, then you give him to the chicken feed. Yep, and it drops a farm egg. There you go, guys. There you have it. What's full chicken? I already had it, of course, but yeah. Might as well do it. Now, what do we do with the chicken feed? <laughs> You just gotta have the chicken feed to finish the quest. That's it. Mm, I don't have chicken feed anymore. Yeah, it eats it. You turn in okay, one chicken it. feed. And then you gotta cluck at him again? If you wanna get another one. <laughs> there you go. Chicken stares at you with dark, cold eyes. It waits for your waits for you hungry, hung, hungry, hungry, hungrily. Yeah, you can repeat this too, as many times as you want. The chicken starts to gobble up the feed. And I didn't get to read it. It basically okay. gobbles okay. up the feed and lays an egg. So it's, it's it never ends, basically. The quest. Nope, you can repeat it as many times as you want. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that quest line then. Can no you get reason XP? to complete like, it. Like, can you get a lot of XP like, from doing that turn in? No, it doesn't give you any XP, and there's no reason to do it more than three times since that's the maximum <laughs> chickens you can have. Welcome to Sentinel Hill. In case you guys didn't know, Sentinel Hill is a reference to another history that happened in North America. Bunker Hill. That's good to hear, Marshall. While Jigsaw Owens has brought the perpetrators to justice, their ringleader... Oh, I, I didn't get to read this whole thing. Hang on. You have, our full op you have our full cooperation, Lieutenant. The fur brawls were good people. Their deaths will not go unpunished. That's good to hear, Marshal. While Jigsaw has brought the perpetrators to justice, their ringleader is still on the loose. Perhaps with the aid of the Westfall Brigade, we will finally be able to solve this case. Might I ask, what's with the warden in the stocks? We caught this beast slaughtering sheep in the countryside. He is repentant. He is unrepentant and easily agitated. Keep your distance, Lieutenant. When I break out of these stocks, I'm going to rip out. When I break out of these stocks, I'm going to rip out your heart and devour it whole. Wow, the marshal wasn't kidding. But is your bark? Worse than your bite. Need help? Have you heard of Captain Grayson? 
Some say that he's the figment of a drunken sailor's imagination, but anyone in Westfall will tell you that Grayson is real. He's a ghost that haunts the Westfall lighthouse far to the east, far to the west, off the coast of the long of the long shore. Do you dare investigate? Got a flight path? Good day to you. Um, as I said uh, yesterday, guys, it's it's kind of hard to read the the lore that goes on in the bottom left corner. But every quest I will be reading. If I catch something that I miss, or you catch something that I miss, then just point it out. Here's hope. Good day, sir. How may I serve you? I smell West Falls too. Mother sent you. Yes, I heard about the Furball murders. It is very tragic. But such tragedy is a way of life in West Fall. There are many people here who simply no longer have the means of inclination to keep themselves fed. They have given up hope. Do you understand what it means to be left so helpless as to stop caring about life? We must work together to show them that there is hope. That with the drawing day, a better life comes. Take my mother's Westfall stew and help feed the homeless around Sentinel Hill. <laughs> so if your fans missed it... Uh... When Horatio here, er, sorry, uh, when Horatio here talks to Ripsnar, he actually puts on his ever so classic sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rhinestone, correct? Yep. And if you haven't figured it out yet, or if you never seen the show, <clears throat> Horatio Lane is in fact a Easter egg reference to Horatio Kane from CSI Miami. Aha! Okay, I knew there was something that now Kirchan was asking yesterday. What uh, he said he said it, it's something to do with the mafia. I was like, nah, I don't think that's right. I was thinking about nope, CSI. No, he's a CSI yeah. Miami reference. Yeah. I thought it was the good, bad, and the ugly up, though. That was that. Yeah. Oh, he puts the shades on every time. Yep, just like in the show, how every opening bit with the uh, Horatio has him putting, uh, putting on his sunglasses before the uh, theme song kicks in. Thank you, Sin, for that information. I didn't know. All right. Oh, yeah, there's All right. lots of little hidden pop culture Easter eggs if you know where to look. We were once known as the People's Militia. These days, though, we fight under the banner of Stormwind with the full support of King Andrew and Wren. Our goals here and what's far too are many. To clean up the mess left behind by the Defies, to expand the reach of the Alliance, and to maintain order. So far, we are failing on all fronts. Times are worse now than when the Defies ran amok. Now, with the indigenous knolls of the region up in arms, we find ourselves backed into a corner. Help us. Have a good one. Well met. After my tour of duty was over in Grizzly Hills. I returned to Westfall, only to find the land in worse condition than when, when I left. The price of our war left thousands of citizens homeless. They now m migrate here and squat upon the deserted farmhouses and towns of the region. To make matters worse, we are now under attack by the Knolls. The Westfall Brigade needs your help. Slay the attacking gnolls and recovered their orders. Someone is pulling their strings and we need to find out whom. Go with honor, friend. <laughs> okay, gnolls. As I said yesterday, with Chris, um, Kirti and Chris, same person. Um, the gnolls remind me of the Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> okay, that's done. Remember to loot them for the orders. Oh, great. I don't have yet. You do now. What do we need to do now? Westfall homeless fed. Yep, gotta go feed the transients. I remember before Legion launched, this is where the invasions were. The first invasions. This is one of the areas. This... I believe bro no it wasn't bro tarn mill this um the gates to orgrimmar in azara and there was a couple more places i can't remember there was out front of uh of uh, iron forge <laughs> oh yeah that's right uh Karanos, right yep If you guys want something done quick, I suggest you put a, a, a quest thing to give people, put it right on your action bars. That way you don't have to click on it. It's still recharging. Is this equality and justice for all? Why would they do this to these poor people? Why would they do this? I don't get it. Uh, all the people around here that they're not <clears throat> into Central Hill. Mm -hmm. It's it's simply a case that uh, these are leftovers from when Cataclysm happened and Deathwing attacked when he destroyed uh, Stormwind. In game, all we saw was the destruction of the Park District. But in actuality, by lore, he wiped out uh, a quarter of the city's architecture. Wow. Well, when you lose, you know, a quarter of your housing <clears> to <throat> your biggest capital in the whole continent, it makes that was, it very uh, rough. It's uh, King's Rest right now, that what you're talking about. But uh, in Kata Kata, it was a different zone. I can't remember the name of it, but that's where it was. There was a park. <laughs> I have a Captain Sanders treasure map that I did not read, so I gotta read that. That sends you to the west coast. It's have you recovered have you recovered the attack orders? Helix. I've heard that name before, recently as a matter of fact, but who is this admiral? Well done. You have provided us a temporary reprieve from the onslaught of gnolls, but there is more work to be done. South of here is an area of Westfall known as the Dust Plains. From what we know, the gnolls of the region have made the Dust Plains their unofficial capital. As with any capital, there exists a leader at the heart. If we are to put an end to these attacks, we must track down the gnoll in charge and end him. Venture forth into the Dust Plains. Find the gnoll leader. Django spot eyed and kill him. Take out any other gnolls that get in your way. <laughs> you have a kind heart. You have done a good thing today, and that act will reflect back upon you when Judgment Day comes. <clears throat> Light be with you. 
SI7 has been tracking Helix Gearbreaker since he entered Alliance territory two weeks ago. The letter I received from Matthias Shaw explained that he sent an agent by the name of Kiernan to Westfall to Shadow Helix. Find Agent Kiernan and you'll find Helix Gearbreaker. Kiernan Kiernan came into town for supplies two days ago. She mentioned that she would be near Mortwake's tower southeast of here on the dust plains. Get going. Be careful. <laughs> you need something. The thieves think that they can drive us from our lands. Those who have taken up arms alongside Lord Stoutmantle don't just fight for their farms back. We fight for human dignity. Find us in Lord Stoutmantle's crusade to liberate Westfall from this tyranny. While the situation here is dire, other parts of the region are literally quaking from the great upheaval. I have here a report from Watch Captain Parker of Red Ridge Mountains, one of our territories east of Elwyn Forest. He is asking for a hero to come to their aid. We are spread so thin here that I don't know how we can afford to send any any more military. Would you check on Parker and see what he needs? You will find Watch Captain Parker atop the tower at three corners. See you around. <laughs> there we go. If ye be reading this, this it means that old Captain Sanders is in watery grave so my treasure is yours now ye just need to follow the clues <coughs> <coughs> sorry first ye need to find footlocker is probably half buried in sand by now along the western coast of westfall near the shipwreck Arr! there be lots of shipwrecks but only one rusty anchor on the coast Find that anchor, and you'll find me locker. Look in there for the next clue. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do that one first. Do you have that? The, uh, uh, Captain Sanders treasure? Yes. Yeah, we have to go to you the... You that from the Murlocs? Okay. We have to go to the far west coast. <laughs> I know. That's where we got the mine letters, uh, mine, uh, mine riddlers, what is it? Riddlers mine worm. <laughs> Gonna do the south one first. But yeah, so with a quarter of the population, a storm when the capital of, you know, all eastern kingdoms <clears throat> displaced. The end result was they had to go somewhere, and there was no place for them to go. Ilwyn Forest couldn't support them and the troops coming home from uh, uh, from Northrend, and uh, it was just a case of bad timing on everyone's part. Left a bunch of people homeless, jobless, and penniless. So they all took to going to the farmlands in. Uh, Westfall, but with the problems caused by the uh, left over by the Defias before the Cataclysm, end result was not enough food to go around and not enough work. So you have a bunch of people who are homeless looking for any way they can survive, and that's what Vanessa is doing. Is she's basically building a standing militia from pe uh, desperate people looking for you know anything to do. So it's not that the Defias brother in her name anymore. Nope, the Defias got replaced with uh, <clears throat> Dan Cleef's uh, personal army. So is Van Cleef a bad guy or a good guy? Well, it's all shades of gray. I mean, it's the same thing as are the Horde bad guys or are they good guys? Think we'll die here? Nah.
We don't have to bring him his head, do we? No. I had a freaking interrupt, man. I don't like not having an interrupt. Give it time. Now let's go finish these quests over here. <laughs> they remind me of the Lion King hyenas, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'd be pretty. It'd be easy to create a hyena character without having them remind people of basically Disney. And holy hell, there we go! Finally broke free. The named mob was basically following me almost as far as the the hill. <laughs> <clears throat> you good back there? You need my help? Yeah, I'm good. I was just trying to ignore the mobs. <clears throat> they decided they wanted attention, so I dealt with them. The only way a murder hobo knows how. <clears throat> the, I got inspired by Nixium to do the different voices for people and everything. I watch him a lot. On YouTube. on YouTube. I think you need to work on your ladies' voices because yeah. they're a little yeah. high-pitched. Yeah, I know. Hey there. But it's whatever. <laughs> I'm hoping one day he watches my videos and he likes them. Never know. Now, anyways, flashback. before we head to the lighthouse down there, let's yeah, go to yeah. Sanders because Sanders is gonna have us travel to the south, uh, the south coast. <laughs> so, two birds, one stone. Good point. Now then, as I was saying here, up here, there used to be a little Easter egg that not many people know about. <laughs> the gnolls the gnolls would carve people's skin and make tents with their skin now in old vanilla um, um, I'm wondering if they're gonna put it in classic they might but basically if you zoom in on the tents and everything you can actually see like back in wrath if you zoomed in on the tents of these gnolls here their tents and stuff you could actually see the people's faces in the in the in the tents. There's the skin, faces of their skin, the skin, the skin of their faces. <laughs> their faces of tanned hide. Yes. I do hope they stick around. I know there's the occasional tent you can find that still has that. Really. I don't know if the gnolls have them anymore, but they exist. Not like these creatures. Never like them. I find some of them amusing. I died to these things. I don't know how many times, dude. Back in the day. Oh <laughs> yeah, I still remember when uh, their uh, Murloc camps were so attacked by players that they would just respawn so often that you'd kill one and. Before you knew it, there were four more around you. 
The footlocker slowly creaks open. Sand and water seems to be its only contents. But wait, a small crab scurries out with a clue to the treasure in his claws. <laughs> the clue to the treasure reads, Arr, Good work, matey! Now you need to head due east. East up the bluffs. East of the road. Look for the old chimney runs near the side of the road. There you'll find an old barrel with your next clue. Arg. <laughs> I was telling Chris yesterday, um, they got rid of the Elwyn, um, the Elwyn 4's completion quest thing. It's not in there anymore. Huh. When did that happen? Hmm. I think during the new leveling process. Probably. And it's not in my feet of strengths either. It might be in legacy achievements. <laughs> dual talents, dual talent specializations in there. Remember that stuff. Oh, yes. I remember the grind for that. 2,000 gold was a lot of freaking gold. Uh-huh. And then they ended up dropping it like 20 gold. Yeah. And then they made it free. <laughs> yeah. And then they completely got rid of it. <clears throat> This looks like the right barrel. Good work, treasure hunter! Searching through the barrel, you discover another piece of parchment. This one reads, Now from this here barrel, face ye north, straight as the crow flies. Keep ye walking, till you see the empty jug next to the lone windmill on the sea bluffs. If ye poke around that jug, ye just might find what ye're looking for. Arr. <laughs> and that's down, that's up there, right? Yep, we're going back north. Wants to find a whistle. Who wants to buy a freaking whistle for low levels? Please, Blizzard. Please. <laughs> Could you imagine having a whistle at low levels? It'd be nice. It would be really nice. I guess that's what your hearthstone's supposed to be, though. My hearthstone's a freaking gold. It, it's at it's at Northshire Abbey. <laughs> you haven't reset it yet? Not yet. <laughs> Apologies, guys. This is a long episode, but it's a lot of lore. Sin, uh, can you do me a favor? Can you What's go? Up? Can you go look at my stream and see if I'm still streaming, please? Make sure it's still going. Checking right now. Yeah, you're still live. Sweet. Anybody uh, comment? Because I can't tab out. It will freeze the game. I don't want to do that. Nothing <laughs> yet. Oh, that's a cyclone. <laughs> yeah, stay away from that. There's a clue sticking out of the empty jug. You're on your way to the jackpot, treasure seeker. Sure enough, 
<coughs> sure enough, deep within the old jug, there is another clue to Sanders' treasure. The ink has run in some places, and the paper smells like whiskey, but you can make out some of the text. Now that ye found old whiskey jug, you are almost to the treasure. Just face west, from the bottle, and walk down the shore. Once you get to the water, keep going, swim straight west till you find the island with me treasure chest. You wanted to make this the oh-so-typical anime beach episode, right? <clears throat> what? We're playing on the beach and going for a swim. <laughs> See, this is when I wish I was level 20 so I could use my freaking seahorse mount. Alright, screen capping that. The boat dis uh, the bike disappeared for you. <laughs> hmm? The bike for you disappeared on my screen. So I'm just screen capping that because basically you have Franklin Martin attached to your torso as you're swimming through the water. Mm hmm. Yeah, big deal to me. <clears throat> the lost treasure of Captain Sanders awaits. The hinges on the old chest are rusty, but they still work. You force the chest open and take the booty. Congratulations! Booty bag. Okay, so we got a bag. A shirt? Ooh. Oh, another thing I noticed yesterday, Sin, is that uh, you can you, you can wear a plate at like level b below level thirty now on a warrior. Yep. A warrior. Could you imagine if we just walked the whole time instead of using these motorbikes? I, I, no. Eh, out of sheer boredom one time back in uh, Wrath, I I actually walked from Booty Bay all the way up to uh, Strathholm, oh, following really? the roads. Oh, really? I'm not running, actually just toggled walk and let my character walk. It was pretty funny just because how many people kept asking me what the hell I was doing. <clears throat> it took an hour and a half, uh, hour and a half, if I remember right. That's it. Yeah. The world's not that big. Alright, we're going down to the ghost right now, guys. To the spooky, scary skeleton. Sending shivers down your spine. A lot of people don't remember, but, um, speaking of ghosts... In Scalamance, there was a ghost quest where you had to find all of the, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the Jandis family? I can't remember the name of the family. Um, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but uh, on my work and I still have the, I, uh, I still have uh, the stone you need to be able to see the ghosts. Oh, really? 
you can't get it anymore, and I'm glad it wasn't removed when Blizzard got rid of all the. Does it let other Does it let other players see I'm with you, or just you? Just myself. <laughs> Bart Love, that was it. Bart Love. I family. also have uh, the staff that drops from uh, the original Skullamance boss in there. The staff of like it's Melato uh, Melatola, oh, and really? it actually oh, really? it has a fire <laughs> on it that actually glows like a torch. It actually produces that. light. I, I must have that then. What's it called? This it's like staff of Melatola. You can't. Uh, there's like three staffs that have a torch on them, and it's the I worked my backside off to finally get and farm that one simply because it has a unique skin that no other weapon has. I mean, there's a couple that have the same model, but, but like the glowing torch staff, but I use that one whenever it's midsummer, when I bust out my midsummer skin. Mm -hmm. Or I guess transmog wouldn't be the case. Ooh, what do we have here? Something I don't have? I'm gonna need on that. Unless you want that. Better than what I got. Alright, you take it then. <coughs> Definitely a lot of murlocs. Everybody say hello to the GM of my guild, Sharon. She decided to message me. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't make RBGs tonight. I'm sick, so I'm just kind of chill. Kind of chill right now. Oh my gosh, it's a ghost. Do not be alarmed, it's too human. spoopy. I have long since passed from this land, but I intend no harm to your kind. I have witnessed too much death in my time. My only wish now is for peace. Perhaps you can help my cause. I... I used to be flesh and blood, just like you, lad. That is until too... That fateful day when the murlocs attacked the lighthouse. You probably didn't notice all of the shipwrecks along the coast of the Great Sea it's treacherous indeed. The coast of Westfall needs to be kept clear, so that if sailors find their way to their to our beaches, they are safe. The Murlocs are trouble, though. Kill Murloc tide hunters and oracles, and I will see to it that you are rewarded. The night the lighthouse keeper's family died, it was horrible. I watched helpless as Mur old Murkai led the attack. But what's done is done, and now my concern is for the lives of the soul sailors on the great sea, whose ships come close to the perilous rocks of the coastline. With no one to keep watch on the flame, the responsibility has fallen upon me. Help me keep the torch lit by bringing chasm ooze from the slimes in the raising chasm to the northeast. When my life was ended upon the rocks, I had no clue what the afterlife, what the afterlife held for me. The lighthouse was black the night, that night because old Murkai had scared the family's, the keeper's family off. They returned and relit the flame, but old Murkai coerced the weaker-minded Murlocs to raid the lighthouse with him once again. The second time, the family was not so lucky. Before my eyes, they perished helplessly. Slay, old Merc. I, 
if you see him along the shore, and bring me one of his scales, and I shall reward you. Oh boy, here they come. Pull one, you pull them all. It's been the story with Murlocs ever since they came to be. Doesn't mean they're not pushovers, though. Gotta head north for more murlocs. Now we gotta gotta wait for more. You can head further north. They're the same murbox all along the coast. Oh, we gotta go there anyways, huh? Yep, gotta go up to the chasm. See if we can find one of those tents. I <laughs> have to hop up on the coastline here. But I'm sure there's right here. Boss, there's one right here. There you have it, guys. I'll zoom it in after we kill these. I haven't died yet since I made this tune. Kinda wanna keep it that way. Alright, so we found one. There you have it. The eyes, the nose, the mouth. There you go. You, as you can see, these these hyenas slash Tasmanian devil creatures are very, very ravaged and very merciless. <laughs> They're right assholes is what they are.
long quest line. Yeah, he's got a long quest line. He's just a side quest tucked away in the corner anyhow, so most people miss him. Elementals, right? Or slime? Kill, uh, kill the slime down in the pit. So I'll, I'll stop attacking one of them so you can see what happens when they mimic you. Oh, well, I know what they do. Yeah, but do your viewers? Uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's the whole... Uh, this Raging Chasm here is the first instance that human play or that uh, the human race gets to see uh, something's wrong with the elements. <laughs> you get all yours? Mm-hmm. I can't believe we found a tent with a human face on it. But they were moving. They exist, they're just rare. <clears throat> Gonna be a long overview after this episode of what what happened, what happened today. today. Oh yeah. Killed some gnolls, found a face stand, talked to a ghost, and dug for treasure. Well done, Jigsaw. <laughs> you have quite a knack for combat. Thanks to you. The coast of Westfall is a safer place. The flame will not burn for long without ooze. We used to use oil back in the day, but it was hard to come by. <laughs> Praise you, brave warrior. The rocks of Westfall coast shall be lit thanks for your hard work. Many lives will be spared, so long as the torch is kept lit. I died needlessly on this very shore. My afterlife plight is to see that no others follow my destiny. <laughs> Have you laid waste to the menace known as Old Murga yet? He has been spotted, roaming the coastline of Westfall. Return to me when the foul beast is dead. So the foul heathen Murgai is dead, well done. 
By your hands one life was laid to rest, but perhaps many more were saved. The great sea, wrought with danger as it is, shall be a wee bit safer this night thanks to your heroics. <laughs> Level 16. See that up there, guys? That old mine pit right there? That's right there. That's the end of Dead Mines. <coughs> when you leave Dead Mines, there is an exit right out there. I'm gonna go check it out. I believe this is it, isn't it? Mm hmm. I think this is the exit. Uh, yes? Yep! This is it, guys. See? When you drop down here, you get out of the dead mines. Now there was a way you could actually climb up here and actually go into it, but... Uh, you used to be able to, when Kata rebuilt the terrain, there's a one-way invisible wall right there. You can exit, but you can't go back. Yeah. Demon Hunters could do it. Hmm? You can get up there, but you, you can just stand on the cliff edge. You can't actually walk back into the mine. I've tried it with my Demon Hunter. <laughs> Alright guys, it's almost time for us to end this. It's almost been two hours. Yep. Want to head back to Central Hill, turn in... Uh, yep, the and then turn in the last hole. one by Duskwood. Uh, you know what, we'll leave that. We'll leave that for another day. I think we can wrap it up at the inside of uh, Central Hill. <laughs> I always wrap it up in Goldshire. Oh, well, we can fly back and do that there. Best part about doing your first tune and the lore on your first tune is you don't have to do half of your other tunes with the lore because it's the same lore. <laughs> One thing I recommend we do is uh, do the side story at some point and go through uh, the first two zones, uh, Teldrassil and Darkshore, because oh, the, Alliance loses, the Alliance loses access to those uh, come uh, next expansion. Yep. <clears throat> we'll probably do those. <laughs> the night elf race is very calm spoken people excellent work jigsaw owns it will take the river paw weeks to recover from the blow you just dealt please take an item of your choosing as a reward for what you have done. For the Alliance. And with that, we are done for today, going back to Goldshire. Can we make this our home? <laughs> we could. There's a innkeeper to the um, south of the tower. Mm. Eh, let's make Goldshire. Going back to Goldshire. Hello. Where are you going? If you're looking to get there quickly, then look no further. Hmm, I need to ride fast. I have an important message to, to deliver. Hmm. 
See you later. What's that? That'll take me to the... It gives you a free flight once you unlock the quest line for it. <laughs> I think that takes me to Red Ridge. Uh-huh. Alright, back to the old shark. I love that the guy's name is Thor and yet you gave him a Borat accent. What? The flight, uh, flight master's name is Thor, and yet you were giving him an accent from Borat. Very nice. <laughs> I know. One point, guys, I'm gonna do a stream, uh, collecting everything in, in the zones. We're using this add-on, the zone by zone, we'll go and collect the pets and the appearances and stuff. Sim, would you be interested in doing that with us? Sure, I'm game. I have most of my battle pets, so I'll just have to coach you through those. Yeah, I think I got a few too many battle pets. Let's see, 742 unique pets. Wow. <laughs> I'm missing a couple of the raid pets, uh, a couple of the really rare drops you have to farm for. The but only I way, pretty much have them all. The only way that I'll get a battle pet, that I'll start collecting battle pets and actually care, is if they implement a mount that you get for collecting them. That's the only way. I think they'll do it in one day. Well, there's four battle pets that turn into mounts. No, I mean like collect like a thousand battle pets or five thousand battle pets and you get a mount achievement shit. Stuff like that. Alright, let's have an overcap here. We're gonna sit in our chairs and have an overcap of what we did. I'm actually gonna make this my home first. Well met. That's not the home keeper. <laughs> Where's the innkeeper out here? They're dead at the moment. The horde was attacking this place. Alright, we'll just sit down here. Alright, so, um, Sin, you want to help us with the overcap today, what we did? If you can remember? Oh, it was pretty simple. We ended up making our way over to Westfall, worked a little bit more with Horatio Elaine, helped out some transients, did some farming, getting our hands dirty. Oh, killed some gnolls, saw a face tent, dug got, for buried the, treasure. We got the Westfall chicken. And showed everybody how to get the Westfall chicken. We learned, uh, we learned that Horatio is a reference to, um... CSI Miami, right? CSI Miami. <laughs> and Bunker uh, uh, Sentinel Hill is a uh, reference to Bunker Hill. Um, what else? Hmm. We talked to a ghost. Helped out a ghost. It killed some murlocs. Went treasure hunting. And then you spoiled the end of Dead Mines. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so guys, I appreciate you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hopefully Sin can join us again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's the plan. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs>